Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we're messing with the sound system. We have a 2004 Toyota Sienna and when you turn the stereo on you hear rattling coming from the vac and in my case the rattling's coming from the subwoofer right here. So I think I'm going to start down here just a little bit. Start popping this out. A little plastic thing that unclips right here, and then you can pull up. As you can pull up on this, kind of pull it out a bit. we're looking at so i think um this will give us enough room to work with here screw looks like a 10 minute and so we have one right there at the top all right so just on the opposite side of that speaker like right back here is another one and see what i mean hear that yeah it's just shot doesn't sound very good all right, 10 millimeter socket. Two down, the hard ones to go. I'm gonna time lapse the next two. So of course, the one that was right here was the only one that I couldn't loosen by hand or that I couldn't unscrew by hand. I had to have a ratchet on it the whole time. It's just the way it goes, but it wasn't that hard. Um, you don't even need an extension. And seriously, this whole process took me about 10 minutes, if that, five minutes. Get yourself a little screwdriver, unlatch this connector and disconnect it. All right, so I think I have everything ready. Just need to pull it out of here. Almost seems like there's one more screw. Hold on a second. There are five screws. There's one right behind there. So I'm gonna get that one. This one takes this one takes a six inch extension. There it is. It's in pretty rough shape. <laughs> wow, the speaker screws are Torx, are a Torx bit. So let me go find out what size that is. All right, so the lucky number is T20. T is in Tom, 20. So get yourself a Torx bits. You can get them in a screwdriver set as well. T20. Okay. Cover. Ooh, look at that. And look how pretty she is. Right, with the speaker off, I'm going to get all the yucky pieces out of there. So the new speaker I bought is also a JBL. So for depth, it fits great. But the screw holes do not line up. All right, so um, I ordered the wrong speaker. In my case, the old speaker that I pulled out here had two sets of terminals. I think it's called a double voice coil speaker. Um, I measured the impedance on both terminals and it's two ohms. The speaker that I took out, and this one is a four ohm with a single positive and a single negative. Okay, new speaker came in. A box inside of a box. Nice looking speaker. Comes with a pretty sweet decal. Not that I'll do anything with it. 
All right, two sets of uh, coils. IX8D2 is an eight inch speaker, and it looks like uh, two coils times 1.8 ohms resistance. So yes, that looks like the same that came out of my van. Okay, so the shape of the new speaker has a bit of a taper down here, and this, um, I think it's this taper right here that gives me just, it's, it's just too thick of a speaker, but it fits in there nicely otherwise. So I'm going to cut about that much material off uh, of the base inside the box. I've already started cutting away at it. I'm just gonna cut a little bit more. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and trim that down a little bit more and so that the speaker fits in there nicely. So we've done a little bit of trimming. Doesn't look pretty, but it gave me uh, enough clearance. And so now it fits in there nicely. Same situation, the screw holes do not line up with the original JBL speaker. We will uh, wire it up. So we know the red was positive on one coil and the yellow was negative for that same coil. Insert the wires with the correct polarity. I actually like this speaker better than the previous one as far as serviceability. All righty, I'll flip it around. So on the opposite side, the black was positive and the green is negative. Yeah, it's just like that. All right, with your speaker in position, drill your first pilot hole. All right, original speaker had six screws. The new speaker has eight holes. No big deal. We're just gonna just get it started. I'm not gonna tighten it. Just gonna hold it into place so I can drill my second pilot hole here. Second one started. So now the speaker's in position. I'm gonna time lapse the rest real quick. All right, final result. Speaker's in there. Six screws in there. It's nice and snug. This has a nice rubber seal around it. Um, I think we're good to go. We're gonna stick this back in there, plug it up, and test how she works. So I can't really demonstrate the sound of the stereo without violating copyright on YouTube. What I really like about it is, not that you can turn the stereo up and have a boom box of a car, that's not it. It's the fact that you can listen to the radio at a low volume and you can feel the bass, which is kind of nice. The Sienna had a pretty good sound system and this is a 2004, so you can't complain. So the speaker that we replaced just now works perfectly fine. Thanks for watching my video. Press that thumbs up if you like it. And hey, uh, if you like watching my other videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.